Buying or selling a home is the single biggest purchase you'll ever make in your entire life. It's an exciting yet can be a little bit stressful time. So that's why it's so important to interview a few agents and get the best person to walk you through this whole process to make it smoother and less stressful. So here we have 10 possible questions that you may want to ask when you interview a real estate professional. That's right, so we came up with 10. Of course, there's probably hundreds that you could choose from, but these are just the top 10 that we came up with. So I'm gonna throw out a question and I'm gonna have you do some commentary, okay, Eddie? Okay. So, number one, are you a full-time or part-time agent? So that's a very good question. Obviously, when you are experienced and full-time agent, that would give you a lot more accessibility whenever you're going to uh, ask or, or try to communicate with, with your agent. Obviously, you don't want to work with uh, an agent that is part-time because this business, the real estate business, is basically it's time sensitive. You would like yeah. to see a house um, not when the agent is available, but when the house is available. Also, most importantly, when you as a client are available. That's a good point because, you know, houses come on the market and maybe the next day they're sold or they'll be gone. offers. And if your agent can't show up for three days, then you just lost out on a possible house. Exactly. So yeah, accessibility is really crucial. Yes. Okay, so number two, this is a fun one. How much do you charge? Okay, so it depends. So if you rip, if your agent, if you're buying a house, then your agent basically comes for free uh, because commissions are paid by the seller usually. Mm -hmm. um, now, whenever you, if you hire the agent to sell your house, then the agent will be a leasing agent. Then usually, most of the time, typically, uh, the seller will be paying all the commission. So we highly recommend to hire a professional to represent you. So that means if I'm going to buy a house or if you're going to buy a house, you pay zero, so it doesn't cost you anything to hire a great agent. Correct. Okay, right. awesome to know. That's good Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, three. This, well, this answer could go any which way, but um, asking your agent or potential agent, what sets you apart from all the other ones? That's another great question. So it can be answered in many ways. It depends on the person, but there the answer will give you basically the priorities, the goals, and how the agent is, you know, is handling himself or herself. So yeah, so it's, you're gonna find out the, you know, what what's important for the agent. Right. Well. So I mean, one agent might list top five things, and then another agent would list five other things that are important or what yes. they do. Right, exactly. Yeah, so they, yeah, so how they can handle each situation. And right. yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next question is kind of like, most people ask how many years have you been in real estate, but I would say, what is your experience in real estate and buying and selling? Yeah, good, good point. So I would say experience is definitely very important in this business because every transaction is different. So the more years and the more homes you've sold definitely is going to set you apart. However, sometimes depending on your expertise that you had before or along the way with real estate also is important. Mm -hmm. Some people may have expertise in rentals, for example, or property right. management. Or, or maybe a lender. Or being a, they were lenders Maybe before. a lender, they know right. the whole process, but then they want to become an agent. Exactly, or I know some, some agents, are they had a background of, of building. Sure, so yeah. So they're handy people, so you know, so it depends on, on what the expertise, but definitely experience. Experience, is, yeah. It, it's very course. important, yeah. Okay, now this is a good one. Um, how many clients can you represent at one time? Like, what's your workload, I guess? Yeah, so particularly, I, like, I don't like to represent more than four transactions at a time. Okay, and, and why, whenever, why is that? Well, so you can concentrate in one. See, as we were talking before, you know, selling or buying a home, it's, it's very important. So you want to concentrate and you want to be available. Um, whenever you have, let's say, 20 transactions at once, it's just way too out of control. So, yeah. so you don't get to focus and you don't go to concentrate in the needs and the wants of one client. So I would say, you know, try not to spread yourself 
too much. I mean, when you have an agent that has 20 transactions at once, I, I've done it before, and let me tell you, it's, it's, it's not fun yeah. for anyone. For the, client, the for the client, for the yeah, for the client, for one, and then therefore, you know, I don't believe you do a very good service to that at that point. Okay. Um, next, uh, number five. Um, how? Or, excuse me, that was just five. No, number six. Six. Yes. Do you work on a team or by yourself? Right. So that's very good point to establish from the very beginning. Some agents have a team, some agents work by themselves. And what would be the benefit of working on a team or just alone? So I would say, well, personally, I prefer to deal with one person from beginning to end. So there is no, so the communication is a lot smoother that way. Okay. So you know what's going on from the very get go. Uh, so a, some agents have teams. I don't like it, but it's just matter of preference. However, for the client, it's good to know ahead of time. So what to expect? Like if they will call one person or they'll be calling many people. Right. Okay. Whenever you call, the you may have different answers. Okay. And the communication may be lost somewhere. I don't okay. know. All right. So number seven, um, this is a one for buyers or sellers. Like what is your um, network as far as like people you can refer for handyman stuff or painting that type of thing so it goes back to see real estate is very is a time sensitive business sometimes you need a plumber you need a, a, a you know a painter a, a per carpet person right away so you want to have a good team ready to come and fix whatever needs to be done. Same thing with the inspectors, home inspectors. So you wanna have that team ready to go in case you need it at any time. And speaking of that, it's also a good practice whenever you're gonna refer someone, refer more than one, at least three professionals. And that's, that's another thing. You want the professionals to be licensed and bonded professionals. You, yeah, you and wanna insured. Be, yes, and insured, insured exactly, too, yeah. exactly. And also, like, if you have you know, painters, let's say, um, and your home closes within 30 days, or you know, you're waiting 30 days for your home to close. You can start interviewing these professionals, like during the process. Yeah, maybe you can get a couple quotes on painting, and then the day your home closes, you got that painter in there that very next day, ready to go. So you're not losing 30, 60 days. Yeah, very good point. So yeah, exactly. Want to be proactive and ready to go. Okay, so question eight. This kind of goes kind of um, all together but um, how like how often will the agent be keeping you in touch and, and basically like how accessible are they to your texts or phone calls accessibility yes absolutely so I would say Carrie that would depends on the client I know some clients they like to just leave left alone and they you know they just want uh, they just want to know the bottom line and that's it but there is some agents that I would like to be accessible throughout the process mm -hmm. I like communication from the very beginning right. um, you know I, I enjoy when the clients call me you know yeah. 11 p.m. you know mm -hmm. 7 a.m. yeah of course and you feed off that I mean the, the more did you participate in the process back and forth? Well, so. and things can change. You know, you could have three yes. or four updates on the same transaction. Sure, and sure. And so you need to make sure, like, your agent's going to be able to get that information to yeah, you, you wanna be a, Yeah, right. You want to be available as well. Yeah. You know, a phone call to, uh, you know, it's, it's always, there, yeah, see, every transaction, uh, we said that before, is different, but there is always going to be hiccups throughout the transactions. You want to be accessible, there's going to be also answers to many questions, so yes. you want to be there. That's true. Yeah, available. there's a lot of questions yeah. sometimes. Oh, I yeah. Answers sure. right away. Okay, so if you're buying or selling your home, what is going to be the strategy for both or each? So if you're selling the home or buying a home, you want to know the strategy that the agent's going to do. Yeah, you want to ask a specific strategy. So, for example, if you're going to hire a listing agent to sell your home, you want to know exactly what the agent is going to do. 
uh, you want to find out what signs they're going to be using, mm -hmm. what flyers they're going to be using, what photos they're going to be using. Photos are important. Yes. <laughs> for, yeah. Important. Uh, you know, there is a technique that we use. It's called HDR. Right. Uh, and high dynamic range photos. Right. Yeah. They're high quality photos. So that requires to be very technical yeah. on the quality and also drones as well. Right. So Drone you want to know. Drone photography is really popular now. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and also virtual tours as well. Especially for COVID. With COVID. During COVID. Yeah. Exactly. So you want to know exactly what these agents are going to do for you and uh, obviously if you're gonna be also if, if you're gonna be hiring a, a buyer's agent as well you also want to know when the agent is available or what, what kind of how well the agent understands the MLS for example okay and, and review title for example uh, okay you know review if the preliminary title selling so well if, or if you're buying, buying if you're yeah, buying right, yeah 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 for both Okay. Yeah, that boy, that gets technical. Y yes, exactly. Yeah. You wow. know how to read the uh, title report, for example, right? Or how to negotiate um, uh, an inspection report, right? You know okay. how to read it, how to understand it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all of that is important, but you want to know that ahead of time. Okay. And then our last question, ten. I mean, there could be a hundred more. Sure. And you know, this should actually probably be at the top of the list, but asking uh, your potential broker if they have any references yeah references are yeah exactly what because every agent is going to tell you yeah they're the best right i mean no matter what all the best agents in the world but you want to know what the clients are talking the former clients are right. talking about these agents the reviews and today is very easy very simple to With do like it through social media google and google Facebook. review LinkedIn, for example yeah. linkedin and also uh, facebook as well or you know social media yeah. will give you a good hint of how uh, these agents are performing out there and actually like checking their social media to see how they're already advertising and marketing homes that they're selling yes too. exactly yeah. exactly especially nowadays with covid yeah right yeah it's, it's a different ball game now sure okay well that was 10 questions you can ask a potential real estate broker that you want to represent you for buying or selling. Uh, like we said, there's probably a hundred more. We could go into more detail. Yeah, I would, I, I I would like to add, you know, just no, don't just hire your, your best friend because he's your best friend. I mean, remember this is, you know, this is a- It's a big transaction. Yeah, exactly. You wanna know, you, you wanna- point. Yeah, yeah, you wanna hire the best possible to represent you or your family. And uh, yeah, to at least interview at least three, I would at say. At least three, yeah. Two yeah, to three yeah. at least. Yeah, be and objective and follow your gut feelings mm -hmm. after interviewing these, these, That's, these yeah. agents. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Eddie Quintero here and Carrie Kirshner, if we can answer any of your real estate questions, you can reach us at 206 427 2309. Thank you so much for watching the video and sticking around. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share. Eddie Quintero and Carrie Kirshner with Agency One. Thank you. Thank you.